Welcome back to our course in management accounting and welcome to module four, activity-based costing. Let's return to our hamburger and figure out the components of the cost. And at this point, you should have it locked down. The key components of the cost is direct material, which we've abbreviated as DM, direct labor, and manufacturing overhead. And we've gone over that concept a few times by now, but we know the material is the cost of the burger meat, the cheese, the bun. And when you make your burger, you know the actual material cost. So there's no drama there. You just, as an accountant, you use the actual cost and you're good to go. When you make the burger, you also know your actual labor costs. You know how much you pay your cook and how many minutes or how long it took the cook to make the burger. So you can figure out, okay, well, this is how much cook cost goes into the burger. So the material, labor, not hard to figure out. Overhead though, is hard to figure out. And the reason is when I cook the burger, let's say it's in the middle of July and I've had the air conditioning on, but I haven't received my utilities bill that month. You know, I've had to keep the kitchen cool. It's really hot in uh, my hometown in July. Well, if that's the case, I know that I needed to have a utilities cost to cook the burger, but I don't know what the cost is. And I'm not gonna get the bill for like three more weeks. So how do I know how much utilities cost went in the burger? The answer is I don't. I estimate. And when we estimate how much utilities cost went into the burger, we call that applying overhead. So we use actual material, actual labor, and applied overhead to figure out the cost of the product. And when we learned how to apply overhead, we said, oh, we use something called the predetermined overhead rate. And the predetermined overhead rate is the estimated total overhead divided by we choose something that we think is an overhead driver. So I'm just going to say estimated MOH driver. And we say, okay, well, for example, direct labor hours, right? So the more direct labor hours I have, the more overhead I should have. So I'm going to take uh, my estimated overhead, divide by my direct labor hours. And then when I make the burger, I just apply it based on how many labor hours the burger took. So we've gone over examples of applying overhead in the past. What activity-based costing brings that's new is activity-based costing says we have many different types of overhead. Why do I only have one overhead driver when in fact if i look at my like cleaning costs which is definitely an overhead cost that's driven not by labor hours but by the number of setups right every time i set up the kitchen i got to clean the kitchen or maybe tear downs or whatever but it's definitely not uh, directly proportional to labor hours. So why don't I use a different driver for my cleaning costs? For utilities costs, maybe that's better uh, reflected in number of machine hours. And for uh, gas costs, maybe that is driven by a uh, number of direct labor hours. And so what we find is, and companies don't just have three sources of overhead, they might have dozens. We could come up with categories of overhead and come up with different drivers for each category. Activity-based costing says, why don't we do it that way? We might get more accurate estimates. Most companies don't use activity-based costing because it's more data to gather. And most companies, a traditional one overhead rate is good enough. It gives them good enough data. But when companies are unhappy with their costing system, activity-based costing is something that they might explore. And that's something module four is all about. The best way to learn accounting, you know what I'm going to say, is to do examples. So stay tuned for the next video where we do an example comparing traditional costing, that's one overhead, with activity-based costing. I can't wait to get started. See you in the next video. The next video in our series is right up here. And if you want a supercut of all of the videos in this series, that's the one down below.